Hi there guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to move a, a WordPress website from one domain to another, okay? So how, where this would be used is if you are, well let me just explain to you this situation here, is that I got this client, Scope Oils, they came to me and they wanted to redesign their old and current website. Now their old website looked like this, this is just a screenshot of the um, of the home page. Uh, this was done a couple of years ago. You can see it's obviously out of date, etc. So they wanted a revamp and look more modern and stuff. So what I do as a web designer is I go and create a subdomain. Okay. So I create a subdomain, uh, what, which means that my, my domain name is Align Design. So it's here, that's my brand name. And I create a subdomain. So you can make it whatever you want. You do this within your hosting account. There's many YouTube videos that show you how to do that. Then what happens is I develop the new site on that subdomain. Okay, so this is what we have here. Okay, and it's 100% complete in terms of the design and functionality of the website. They are 100% happy. So now it's time to move it over from my subdomain to their actual domain, which is now scopeoils.com. Now, obviously, this is a blank WordPress installation. They removed the old site and they've we're starting from with a blank installation. That's that's the best thing we can do. Okay, so what we've got to do is we've got to we've got to essentially copy this whole design, this whole website, the entire thing, the whole functionality, and then download it onto our PC or device or whatever, and then upload it to this new WordPress installation. Then what I do is I completely delete the subdomain entirely within my hosting account. Okay. So this is how you do it. We're going to use a um, plugin called um, All-in-One WordPress Migration. There's, there's a few other ones you can use. This is just the one that I've been using for years, and it's the easiest thing ever. So the first step is you want to go to uh, the back end of here, dashboard, the plugins, you go add new. And then over here, you just search the word migration. Then you look for all in one WordPress migra migration. So that's obviously already active. Now other people use duplicate uh, backup migration. There's a few other ones that you can use. It's completely up to you. But the, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this one. So I've installed it, okay? And then you'll see it like this, okay? I just wanna show you one more thing. So I paid, uh, so this is free. But I also paid for the extension, okay? It's pretty affordable. If you go to their website, ServeMask, you can go and get it there if you want, but it's not necessary to use it. It's especially useful for a larger website. So this is a relatively small website. I don't need to use it, but I do it by, um, I just do it out of, out of habit to use both the plugins. Okay, but what I'm saying is that if you've got a small website, it's fine with just the free migration plugin, okay? Then what you do is you just go to here yeah, and you export. Okay, make sure it's saying export site, export to file. So it's gonna now prepare to export. You'll see it's gonna complete. So now you just click on download and it'll download to your usual folders, okay? Then now I've already got mine saved. So let me just go to that file. You do, okay, so you've downloaded it. Now you go to the new website, okay? And then you go to dashboard. And then what we do is we go plugins. Remember, this is the new site, okay? So we've got to add the um, WordPress migration. So just search migration. Okay, then you click on install now. Activate. Okay, so now what you do is you just go here and you want to import on the new site, right? So you want to import site, import from, file, and you go and find. Okay, there we go. And you click on open and you wait for it to import. Okay, so you'll see this over here. This will be the next step. So you click on proceed. It's saying it's gonna overwrite what's currently there. Just be aware that um, 
you, because we are we exported it from the development site, right? And we've exported the entire website and we've uploaded it onto the, 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 the new domain, the client's domain. It takes, it takes over the login details from this website. Okay. So whatever your login details were for WordPress, for your development, for your development site now becomes the login details for this website. Okay. Just be mindful of that. Okay, so what it's saying now, it's finished. Okay, so it's imported successfully. And then they say, just make sure your permalinks is correct, which I'll show you now, which you have done, but we'll just double check it. Okay, so it'll just stay like this. So what you do is you just go to click on anything here. Let's say we go check out permalinks. It's gonna to go to the login, login screen. Okay, so this remember, this is for the new site, but we're gonna use the old login details uh, from the development site. Okay, so I'll go ahead and log in. Okay, so we just double check, um, permalinks is fine. Uh, yeah, that's all good. I've done this hundreds of times and I've never had issues um, after doing an import. Like it doesn't like destroy anything, you know? So if you go visit the site, okay? So remember this is the client site. This is the, the new domain we've moved it to. And here's, here's the website here. It's all fully imported. Okay, and I'm gonna click on the, this is the development site. So you can see it's all, all moved over. Okay, so now what I would do is I would completely delete this installation within my hosting account. It doesn't exist. Okay, that's it.